welcome back to spring web flux essentials so in this video let's uh, see how we can get the trace param and um, add the trace uh, like we did here but uh, instead of doing this where we do not have any control whatsoever uh, so that can be achieved in the following way let's keep the defaults here and what we need is actually retrieve that query uh, param that's coming uh, in the URL Basically, you have access to the request. If you have access to the request, you can get anything that's available there. So, for example, we can, uh, for the request, get uh, the URI, request.uri.getQuery. And by doing this, you have the, the query string, and you can easily create like a private boolean is trace enabled through string query and then you just return string utils uh, we can use from uh, a spring framework package is empty query so if this is not empty and query dot contains trace equals true for example just one simple example how you can do it and uh, we can have here we can split this by copying this one so basically we are going to do a quick check is trace enabled sending this query so if it is enabled uh, we can return error attributes option of include stack trace otherwise you just return the defaults let me remove this one and then you can include the local variable uh, let's break let me just add here static import I know some people don't like just to keep it in one line and here we return like this so technically speaking this doesn't matter because it was not working anyway now let's uh, start our application and let's try okay so we try to get an animate that does not exist and if we send trace equals true we have our trace param available okay so let's stop this video for now and in the next one we will see how we can add more attributes to this message body so see you in the next video bye